Welcome to the Geeks 31 Days of Horror for Halloween. This is Alil. This is Steve. And this is Sean. And tonight we're reviewing The Tank from 2023. I believe this is a Hulu exclusive. So for those of you who have not been with us before, we will play for you our rating system. It has a rating system in place that we like to call Hero to Zero. If whatever horror movie we're reviewing is terrifying only to the most infantile who get nightmares from PG-13 reboots, it gets a zero. If it's a gorgasm-inducing slaughter party that satiates your most devious and monstrous desires, it gets a hero. After mysteriously inheriting, inheriting... An abandoned coastal property, Ben and his family accidentally unleash an ancient, long-dormant creature that terrorized the entire region, including his own ancestors, for generations. Did they unleash it? I feel like it was was, was just there. It wasn't leashed. Yeah, Yeah. I didn't get that backstory of them unleashing anything. Like I didn't see anything unleashed. Well, I think by by (laughs) by opening the water. Yeah, it seemed like they found the baby. You know, and I have a theory with this too because this. Uh, All right, we, but it's spoilers. So. Spoilers. It's a new movie. So. This is a new movie. Um, I'll start. I'll start. Um, I give it a. You know, I, I like the story. It's not enough deaths and scary. I just hate the noise scares. Like it's just like, let me make things loud. Let me make things go bump in the night. And then show me nothing for a while. Uh, but I'm going to give it a high sidekick because I think the story was really good. And the the creature was interesting. I kind of wish we got more. There was one scene where it looked a little weird. Um, but I like the creature. So I'm going with the high sidekick. Steve? It gets a high sidekick for me, too. It looks The creature looks a little demogorgony. Um, yeah. I'm a big fan of creature features. So I don't mind like the uh, the the noise scares, like I, I like all that shit because that gives me you know it's something tangible when it's growling and you hear that guttural sounds and all that that is a physical that thing's gonna fuck you up <laughs> whatever is making that and noise it, and it does problem. for the for the couple of people involved um, too, yeah. My problem with this movie was pretty much all of the dialogue, everything that everybody says is like huh, and also like. All I could think of is like, this is what Sean means when he says like, that's white people shit. Like what this guy's doing, what everybody's doing here is, why would you it's, do this? It's like, true. Um, and I should, have, that, a rating, I should like, have a rating system that says that's white people shit. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was should be called The Tank, aka white people shit, <laughs> because it's wild what they're doing and. Not, not only that, but like without spoiling it, the ending is also. I don't know if you guys know that there's a end credit scene, but uh, yes, there is, yes. and it's problematic for our main characters, <laughs> to say the least. So, not for our uh, main characters. Oh no, it is for the main characters. It. No, 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 no. Right. Don't spoil. Sorry, but either way, so we'll we'll get there. Maybe I missed something, but like the ending was <laughs> a whole nother set of problems but overall i do like having a creature that goes after people and kicks their ass i just have some questions about the creature's motivations i, I guess i don't know so uh, well and that's again that that's my thing i i have a theory on the motivations There's kind of there. yeah so, so and I, I think i get what you're saying but that's it for me high sidekick though but i, I still i still liked it though so my question to both of you do most creatures have motivation or are they just killers? Creatures. Cre- they're just killers, right? Yeah. Like, for the most part. I don't... Like, I mean, like, alien, I guess, if you're thinking, like, something like that, right? Like, I guess it kind of has motivation. It's trying Predator to... has motivation. But they're still just killers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th- th- there's just some questions here about some stuff. So, I, 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 I agree with both of you. Uh, your ratings is exact like i think we're all 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 straight down the board i i did not hate this movie i thought it was a i like creature features like steve so love it 
if you can sell me on a creature feature all day, I'll watch a creature feature. Like, Remember that movie, Sean? Monster? It was just called Monster about that mom and her daughter that get like trapped in their car in the rain in the dark. And it's just that fucking monster in the woods. Fuck. What was that? Did I watch it? Yeah, we talked about it. Fuck. <laughs> it's really good. Like, you barely see the monster ever, but like, it's fucking awesome. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I didn't think about it. I was like, wait, that was you yeah, see yeah. teeth and claws and shit, and you're like, whatever it is, that's fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a bitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. Like, again, you know, I, I thought the monster, I thought the creature was kind of well designed, to be honest. Um, it had a giant rat vibe that I, that I was getting at, but then it was something else. Um, I love the ending though, kind of, which is really weird. I kind of got this whole. Oh, I'm about to be a badass and do my thing that over, you know, under the water kind of. I love that kind of shit. Like, you know, Sigourney Weaver kind of shit. <laughs> like, I enjoy that kind of shit. I don't know why I'm a sucker for hero. You know, somebody wants to be a hero kind of shit and and use what they were, you know, from the beginning. Oh, I was this to oh, I know this kind of shit to oh, I'm about to fucking take care of some shit. <laughs> kind of shit so i enjoyed that part um again you know it was it was it was okay uh yeah i enjoyed it that's it you know i guess we can get into spoilers but i did want to talk about the monster when we get to that point but you know and well spoilers spoilers what you're saying like they they set up early on that she is the badass in the relationship, right? Like at the in the pet store, he mm -hmm. can't get the rat. She reaches back and grabs it, right? You know? Like, and when they're dealing with the house, he can't take the wood off. She comes up and fucking does it. She's like, get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Like, so she said it's set, it's set up throughout most of the movie that this guy just kind of sucks. I was just, but he was also like the character we were following most. Most so, of the so I was like waiting for him to finally like step up <laughs> and he continues well, he tried. throughout the whole movie to he never tried and got his ass whooped I mean, he I tried think. and he got his ass whooped yep so i mean we're in spoilers so we can talk about it but mm -hmm. i mean it's such a weird premise because i look at it this way like this this is a guy whose mom at when he was a child was institutionalized and he went to go live who knows where they don't really talk about they don't that talk about that um, so, you know, his mom would send him letters. So that's his only communication with his mom. His mom has passed. Never met his dad because his dad died before he was born with his younger sister. But wait, my question on that was, I assumed the dad was trying to kill that fucking thing and didn't fucking make it out of there. That's yeah, what I assumed. I agree. Okay. Or that, or that he trapped down there. I mean, like they even said that at the end when... When they got the second half of the mom's diary, that it wasn't, well, it wasn't that, like, a drowning that, that the, they alleged. Well, didn't it imply that the creature took the, the sister? The girl. Yeah, and then and the, the dad, dad went there after it, and then yeah. they both didn't come back. Yeah, exactly. So that's thought, what I'm saying about the creature's motivations, right? Like, so, is the creature just like want to steal little girls? Yeah, Maybe. I mean that's that could be part of it. I thought I thought the creature was angry. Not only by being unleashed, but because they took a small creature and put it in the cooler. That could have been a motive. I thought, to me... That's I, what I thought would have been the motive. I like guess trying to get his baby back. To me, I actually thought that they fucking turned into the fucking monsters <laughs> at some point. <laughs> I, I was like, I mean, oh. they did have kind of like the arms of a person, you know. And, and, and it, I thought, I thought, I felt like it had like a, a, a child... And a father kind of instinct. It was a weird thing. So but there was like, two of them, right? And they were right. And I thought the other one was a little small. I one? think there was more. There might have been more. Who knows? There may have been more down there too. Yeah. There is one specific shot of this creature that is the scariest one of all of them, and it's none of the shots with its mouth open or its claws or any of that shit. It's the one where she's down there in the water doing her thing, and then, like, it just pans over and one of them is just looking at her from above and, the water. And then, and then it goes and then it just down goes, like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it's like one little bubble pops up. I was like, well, it's, like yeah, it's, it's like a fucking, it's like a fucking gator. Like, you so, know, a gator going up, and then a gator goes down. If a gator goes, if you see the gator's head go down, 
fucking swim away because that thing's coming to get you. This I didn't like as much. Like, really? This to me looked very like. Well, that, that's what I'm talking about about bright. a demigorgon. Right? Yeah, that looks when like they went demigorgon. very bright, like the costuming here looked too costumey, right? Like yeah. crawling. Yeah, you know, yes, it was a man. It's a man in a suit, clearly. But Good. when it was very much in the dark and in shadows, know, that looks fucking sweet right there, though. It's not bad, a little. Like it's not. No, no. Again, but the, the first one was not good. This angle makes it look a lot better. And I mean, it was designed by Weta, so like, I mean, they know their shit <laughs> on monsters. And I mean, yeah. damn, they did do Lord of the Rings and shit. So like, I, I gotta give them credit for that. It wasn't a bad monster, you know. No, it's, it's it's very different, but you're, but Steve's right too. It, it's very different because it doesn't have eyes, but it's also very demogorgonish. Yeah, yeah it's the whole, the whole thing the kind whole of jaw pops yeah. when it opens up and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it was the vampires and uh, Blade so, Two. You know. It's not, but like in the movie where this creature exists, it's the most improbable thing is that this guy takes his family from Oakland to fucking Oregon. They go, they find this house that's covered in grass. So, like, they can barely even get in. They go in the backyard. They find a hole in the ground with a ladder. And they just, like, go down let's go there. see what's down there. It's just a water tank. Fuck you. What are you? Do You don't even have a flat. You don't have matches. What the fuck are you doing? Like, at, at minimum, there's black widows. Maybe a snake. <laughs> the fuck are you doing like something crazy listen well no, no way no one has no been way. down there no one has been down there in i don't know how many years and that's and what i was getting at too way. and you're gonna go down a fucking hole with nothing down there dark as shit just looking around fuck, fuck you and everything you stand for you deserve to die but that but that's what i was getting at too when the lawyer shows up and tells him he has this 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 house that he never knew of, nobody ever told him anything of. He has this weird, estranged family relationship. Like he doesn't care. You know, it's so the wife was like, yeah, you know, maybe let's go see it. Like my first instinct would have been, how much can I get for this? Let's sell it now. I don't even need to go see this. Thing. I don't want to see that bullshit. Like I don't need to go and try to unearth it in a castle because guess what you can and have they, it too. <laughs> and they just show they just showed that they were like hard up for money. You know their shore was exactly. struggling. Yeah. So they're gonna take like time off and drive their fucking station wagon all the way to fucking Oregon to like go check the place out and like have I, a weekend. I, to me, that was the most impractical thing out of this whole movie. With a that child? Was, that was <laughs> some white people shit. <laughs> With a child? I, I, I would have I would have like, been like sold. How much? What you, you got a buyer? Give me a buyer. They, they took a big risk on it, the fact that they could even sleep there. Maybe that's why they took the station. Steve, right? <laughs> yo, did they not know that there's like fucking like like that shit looked run down and abandoned? Well, no, they didn't know. There was the seventies. It's not like they could just pull it up on. It fucking was the seventies. I forgot. I, 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 my my mind. Take I a forgot. look. They couldn't Google image, and that's you know what. But like I'm <laughs> fine. Google with, images, and they're like yeah, yeah. satellite view. Okay. No, but like. If I'm fine. Like when when I see movies that are like 1978, 1982, I'm like, which was smart. Which is smart for the like, no internet, no cell phones. Get rid of all that shit. That was smart. Our, like like this was I like, 73, I believe. I yeah. like that, they, that was that was really smart, Steve. Yeah. Like I, I get, I give them that because there's no technology that you that you look. Yeah, up. it's just an easy way to like. There's no, it doesn't necessarily need to take place then, right? Like it's not like they have a bunch of music and a bunch of stuff. I mean, maybe they dress them up, kind of. In that time period of clothing, it didn't feel seventies, except for the guy had like a seventies haircut. But you knew it was, and so that's why there's no cell phones. Mm -hmm. They had older cop cars. It's seventies. He pulled out a walkie-talkie. He had a walkie fucking talkie. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, it, it tripped me out because I didn't realize what time frame it was until after the fact. I was like, oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, and then. Like, like all this, when they're doing like the VO, the voiceover for the mom's diary, it's garbage. It the actress garbage. saying the words is bad at reading badly written words. Well, that's the problem. It's, it, I it, do it, not it, know. The what dialogue is him. not good. Like who what talks the to their kids this way? Who, who, uh. Oh my God. If they called her sweetie one more fucking time. Like, it was very bizarre. 
But I don't know if it was, it, maybe it's because it had a 70s vibe. Maybe that's why. No, people don't talk like that. It's weird. I don't yeah. know. I wasn't around in the 70s. I mean, I was born in 79, but I wasn't like. It's just, it's not a natural flow of words. I thought people really... from the West Coast speak, spoke, spoke different than people on the East Coast. Yeah. Time, so. what, what, <laughs> word, what word did you teach us this week, Steve? Molly Wops, but that's not the point. The point yeah. is <laughs> Molly Wops. Don't be bring up no old shit. <laughs> yeah, don't bring up that fucking mummy dust a little. Look, what I'm saying is, is that okay? So it's West Coast. Then I live on the West Coast. We don't fucking talk like this. It's, I don't know. It, now, now with, with this being on film, I think you do. So. Like I hate, but I then like, it's, but like she, he's walking around, right? And the wife's like cleaning shit and finds this thing. She's like, "Hey, it's just like the lawyer said. Your dad didn't drown or die in a car accident. He drowned here on the property. Like, damn, you're laying it all on him like that. Like, facts. <laughs> like, you're not even yeah. giving him time to like, wait, what? <laughs> like, let's let's take it. Like, you just, just gave me a whole dude, bunch like, right at once. I don't know, man. Like, this dude's in his mid thirties at this point. He's, and, he, and he even says it like, I don't need this. I don't need to know this. I don't need to go here. I'm fine. Let's just, you know, I want to get rid of this. That's that's my problem here is like, it seems like from the get go, they just wanted to sell this thing no matter what. Well, I mean, that, why go they're, visit it? They're, well, exactly. Why go visit it is is the question. Why climb down in the tank over and over and over again is is the question. Why even bother trying to fix anything or clean anything if you're not planning? If you're going to sell it, like take one look and be like, you own like a thousand hey, acres here. There's like thirty minutes back down the road a bit. We'll find a hotel <laughs> with the amenities and we'll yep sold. You know, like walk away. Don't. You know what I'm not doing? I'm not climbing in the fucking tank. I'm not busting out sleeping bags in a house that's never been opened or has been opened. Like, there's too many creepy crawlies in there, man. You're about you, you get bit by something. That's yeah. Pacific Northwest. Well, and and they did get bit by something. Um, See, I thought that, she was going to turn when she got bit. Like they showed, like they, there were certain things that I they thought showed. So too, I thought that, you know what, Sean? I was thinking about that too. Like. When the uh, when they were getting attacked, I'm like, oh, I wonder if this transforms them or some shit. I like, know it would have been. Yeah, I think that would have been cool as shit. What if what if it like bit the little girl and then like slowly she's transformed like and that's like the shot oh, and, 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 and the end her fucking eyes like fucking like blink sure. like a different fucking thing. Oh, that would have been. And dope. she fucking goes down into the tank, <laughs> you know, like I would have. They try to go back in after her, but she. That she won't come, like she's now one of them. Ooh, see, that could have could have been fucking cool. That could have been fucking awesome. So we we get only two real deaths here, and they're like two characters that are literally just introduced and literally, literally two die off screen. Yeah, two. The die. cop shows up, but like the cops kill scene. Even though like you didn't see him get it, you just it was heard a good kill scene. Cops. Well, it wasn't a good kill scene because. Well, it was it okay? Get killed. Not not but, a good kill scene, but a good tense scene, right? The, good, that, the creature just crawling into his car while he's watching it. Like usually, that happens, and he's obliviously looking the other yeah. way and didn't see it. And you're like, "What the fuck?" But no, this time he's like looking right at it, but like it's frozen in fear. Yo, like which that would shit be gave like me goosebumps, dog. That shit gave me that. That was like some alien shit. Like that creature crawled in that car. Like yeah. it owned that car and then just fucking saddled right up next to that fucking cop right in his fucking like, face. You're like, God damn. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I'd be frozen in fear too. Yeah, that should give me goosebumps but, up. But in one of the scenes when he goes down to fix the tank, he finds a baby creature, brings it back. His wife, who's a vet or going to school to be a vet, um, examines it. That talks about talks about, yeah. about that shit too. She goes that these, you know, they don't need they don't need eyes. They're subterranean creatures. If they, you know, it looks like you know, there's no arms or legs, but if they were on land, they would grow limbs. So she's she's laying it all out there, right? So to me, I'm thinking, oh, they took the baby, and now they're trying to get their baby back. They put the baby in a cooler. And the creatures are trying to get their the baby creatures back. are trying to get their baby back, but the that's, creatures make no move to get that baby back. No, no, but that's what I was initially thinking. Like, oh, you've got because they never even go back to that. No, that cooler would have been like 
I would have left right th- right when I saw that thing, and I didn't know what the fuck it was. And it looked <laughs> like that. I'd be like, all right, pack up. Let's take this cooler. We're going fucking. We're going to some fucking science expert, and we're bringing Again. a whole fucking army. No, 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 you got to go to the university. A little. You got to go to the university where people know what they're talking about. First of all, y'all talking about y'all would have been there. <laughs> First of all, what? That's, hello, that's day two, by the way. And no thanks. I wouldn't even have been. There, I, so I agree. There's, there's no way I would have gone out. I wouldn't. Dis- I wouldn't discover shit. Oh, I, yeah, I wouldn't I been never been able to find that because I never would have gone in that fucking tank and dug around for nothing. And then when he climbs in that into fucking the house, <laughs> and then when he climbs into like the cavern part behind the tank, he's like, "Oh, there's this whole cave behind the tank," and I'm like. I thought he was going to go even further, but I'm like, okay. Thank, thankfully, he did, he was smart enough to not go that far. Well, the so, motherfucker did. He did go that far later on. He did. Well, later he did. on, yeah. but he needed so to then, later on. So then this lawyer shows up and she's like, not only is do you own this house, but you own like all of these hills and all of this beach and all these coves and all this. And I'm like, well, no wonder everyone was pissed off at these people for fucking. Because they talk about their ancestors, like the locals were pissed off at them when they moved in. I'm like, well, no fucking wonder you goddamn colonizer you fucking took all this fucking Colonized. land. <laughs> you fucking took so much land for one squatty little house. Goddamn. Well, and that's the thing, too. Like, did, did they take the land for the house or did they take the land to protect the people from the creature? No, they didn't protect the people. We'll they, were, they weren't protecting the people from the creature. They got eaten up. I don't, that's they what didn't I'm know saying. that shit was there. They, they, the, the earthquake that happened unleashed that creature. That's what happened, and it came out and it's like the them. fucking Meg. I don't know because they got because the, they were talking about they put the house there because of the spring water, and the spring yeah. water was because when the earthquake happened, it opened up this crevice that had this really nice water where those creatures live. Or piranha triple D, or whatever. so their really good water was those creatures leaving. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so weird, and 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 they all get away at the end. Dad's fucked up, but well, the creatures steal the daughter. Which and the craziest pe- part about that is they take the daughter, take it down the tank, right? Take Yo, it down right? the that, scene, and that's, that's, that kid yeah. has not a fucking scrap. Her hair's not wet. She don't got no dirt on her. Well, but they was going, they was going to eat on her ass for fucking at least a month. <laughs> well, you would think that like the act of simply dragging a human down in that tank, down the ladder, into injury. the water, through the tunnels, they weren't like holding her hand and walking her. Yeah. They dragged her down, yeah. and when she finds her, she's like, "Mommy," and like, "A okay." Like yeah. scuff it up a little bit, you know. You know, I'm going down. I'm going head. down. I'm going down on a sidekick. Damn! I've been down to a side just because of that. <laughs> because it, no, well, and, the, and then, the, like, or was it the two minutes of her slap it, splash, and a shovel in, in water, and not that's all we were getting. Not hitting <clears right. throat> that was <clears throat> awesome. Fuck <clears throat> yeah! I, I like that. Part. I like that part when she when she fucking had the the little the the spike. It was like, Eesh. I was like, oh, stop right in this track. Dead. Well, I mean, I like the fact that she went down there and, like, there's no way to, like, even the playing fields. The only thing she can do is light the area up a little bit so she can yeah. see him coming. Yeah, what she, what, and, she put on, what she put on her arm? Like, arsenic or some shit like that? I didn't even know what she put on. I think she just wrapped her arm so that they couldn't tear No, no, she put something up. on it, though. She put some shit on there. She said arsenic or something like that. I can't remember what. Maybe, maybe. it was, like, uh, gasoline or something. I don't know. Either way, she was still getting her ass kicked. She was, but she she wanted the end though. She she went real Sigourney Weaver on that shit. Like let's be honest, like she did kill him. She did, and she, and she lit up a fucking match at the end. She did some <sighs> bullshit. I don't know how yeah, many that, did, that didn't them. do anything because then then they get away in the car and the monster's still there. It, it yeah, I would have fucking and then, blew that bitch up. And then, she, and then the she turns around and she goes, click point, <sighs> get out of my car. Did it? Did it kill the dog? <sighs> I'm like fucking shoot it. Killed it. The dog. Did it kill the dog? I can't remember. No, the dog was in the car. No, dog was in the car. Okay. The dog, the dog got away. Literally everybody lived except for the lawyer, and you knew the lawyer was gonna die because oh, the lawyer. Well, he's like, oh, do you want me to drive you back to your car? And she's like, nope. I'll enjoy the walk. And the music's like, boom. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> right. Like fucking. And let's talk about. I forgot to mention it. The music. 
what right does this music to have this fucking Hans Zimmer Batman theme that it has <laughs> like, right. somewhere? Hans Zimmer's like, son of a bitch. It had the fucking dun, 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 like with the wah, wah. I'm like, holy fucking shit. I expected Batman to come out and punch one of those little fucking creatures. Yeah. So. Well, a little, you drive it down to a sidekick. Good for you. Sidekick. <laughs> sidekick. So. All right, well, if you watch this on Hulu, let us know what you think. The Tank on Hulu now. That's it. This is Lil. This is Sean. And this is Steven. Until tomorrow night, everybody, keep it creepy.